What's up, guys? We are back in another Minecraft video, and I'm joined here by Joe Tato, the creator of Practicalities Mob. What's up, man? Hey, not much. What's up with you? I am, you know what? I'm feeling good because we got something exciting to show people, and it's an update. It's going to be in the next patch or version of the Hermitcraft Mod Sauce Pack, so you could be looking forward to this, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So, it's something good. This yeah, yeah. Essentially, what, what is it? This is it over here, but what, what exactly is. What does this do, sir? So this is a uh, way to farm withers. Farm withers. That's all it is, man. We've been That's trying is, to yeah. do that, and we tried a million different ways. And actually, one of the main reasons this was made is because, uh, well, it's just a solution to a problem many people are going to have. But also, when you own a server, um, as you saw in one of my videos, you can check the link will be uh, on the screen now or in the description. You can look our, at our. If you look at the end of the video, our struggle was. Because of server lag, the system was imperfect. While it worked, if the server had a spike, the withers got out and would destroy all your stuff. And that is one of the main issues. There's no good way to farm them. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, we've got this. So this is a multi-block structure. And what is each? So you've got the wither blocks that it's made out of. It's a 5 by yep. 3 hollow, right? Yep, it's and a 5 by 3 hollow. It's pretty simple. So you only need, well, two different kinds of blocks. Mm -hmm. So there's this those wither blocks and then... This one here called the Wither Killer. Yeah, that's the the main 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 frame. That's the, that's the main guy. Yep. Yeah. And um, so, what's the what are the materials required for these? Let's have a look. All right, so let's have a look. It's it's a lot of obsidian. All right. The Wither block is. Oop! It doesn't show me the recipe. There we go. So you need a diamond infused obsidian, right? That's that's the main. Mm -hmm. thing. And that's just obsidian around a diamond. Okay, I see. That makes sense. Yep. It's pretty simple. Um, and then per block, you need one of those. How many blocks in total of the multi-block structure? I could do the math, but uh, you're the math. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, I don't have it in front of me, man. Oh, okay, that's no problem. <laughs> but anyways, you're gonna need you're gonna need a good bunch. We could count. You're gonna need a lot. It's it's several hundred obsidian. <laughs> right, and if you are think, I mean, once once we have this and we show it how it works, we're also gonna show you a version where we're maybe gonna put four or maybe six of these together into a farm and show you how you can kind of import and output you know, output the items and basically have it automated. But of course the obsidian is just a large amount. So it is, it's worth it, but it's also, yeah, yeah. a little bit expensive. So that's it's, how yeah. she goes. Well, it's not too expensive. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just obsidian. It just takes time, you know? Yeah. And then the other thing that you need to note is that on top of needing a couple, uh, you know, four wither blocks here and a sword and a bow and stuff, you also need eight, nether stars just to make it so you have had to manually farm out the wither a good couple times first before you yep. can even make one of these things that, that seems fair to me that sounds fair yeah i mean once you've got one of them too you can just wait along or just farm out more of them i mean me personally i've got you know like a couple dozen stars still so it's not too too bad but um no so yeah we want to put the last block in and show them the you got the cool eyes they light up all right, nice. Yeah. So, so now it's now it's complete. Active. Can you click yep. on the whole? And that's all you have to click on this, huh? Yep, yep. The uh, the eye or the the face there. That's kind of the main entry point. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the supplies here. So we need some soul sand, of course. Um. So we'll get a stack of that, and then we need the skeleton heads, right? Yep. The wither skeleton skull. So I've got them. So I'll put in. We're gonna need four stacks, and three stacks of skulls. So if you can, you can just shift click everything in too, huh? It comes out normally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you just put them in the right. Oh, you can hear it now too, right? Yeah. That's cool. So do you know about how how often it it gives you a star? Uh, I can do the math really quick here. It's four hundred ticks. Four hundred. So every four hundred okay. ticks. Yeah. So what's that? Uh, oh, there's twenty one. seconds. There's one. So every around 20 seconds, around so. twenty seconds it, it takes to yeah. make one. That's not. Too and then bad. there's a. Yeah. And well, it takes. Yeah, so there's, I believe it's a 15 seconds to make one, and then there's a about a five or six second cooldown before it spawns another guy. Okay, cool. That's cool, and you can hear him in there. Well, you yeah. can. I mean, you probably wouldn't well, visually see him in there if you broke yeah. one. But <laughs> I didn't. I didn't actually spawn the wither. I thought that would be a little too much. Well, plus you with the bars above your head and stuff, it it makes yeah. sense. It just doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, this is the practical, of course, way to do it. Yeah, it's the practical way of doing it. That's right. Perfect. So yeah, so we're gonna. I mean, you can see this how it's not like OP to where you're getting a crazy amount, but if you have a way of getting a ton of obsidian, we can show you how this would be a really strong way of getting stars with a little yep. farm. So we'll set that up and we'll show it off. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So check it out. We have an automated system, don't we, sir? 
That's it. So what's going on here? This is could be done a million different ways. As you as you can see here, this is basically the chest where the items go in, and we've got tons of sand and skulls, and then we're using a filter for sand and a filter for um, skulls. And the only reason we have the filters here and not just one retrieval node is because of this buffer here that holds an item that would yeah it stops it from pumping. Um, but also you can just to note you can pump in any block, correct? That's it. Any block can pump in, any block can pump out. Right. And the other bonus is that this will only ever um, export stars. So there's no functionality to export anything but um, nether stars. So you don't have to That's worry right. about putting any kind of filters on your export nodes. Just transfer nodes will do it for you. And this has only been running for about a minute or two here. And we already have, oopsies, we already have um, 22 stars. So That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so you could probably you could use Ender IO. You could use really anything. You could also just use one chest to import the items. We just this is like a very simple way of doing this without too much. Yeah. We we didn't want it to be overcomplicated for you to see. So this is, yeah. I mean, this is so cool. So now on the server on Mod Sauce, I'm gonna definitely set this thing up when I when I can. But obviously, it's not out yet. Yeah. Uh, but look for the next update on the AT launcher of mod sauce if you want to play with this uh, mod in the pack and have these fl flipping amazing wither wither farms going so yeah that's it that's it uh, that's all dude this is a sweet addition man I really appreciate this thanks going I'm glad you game. like it yeah it's so cool so, yeah and check out uh, Jotato I'll put any links he wants he requests me to put down the in the thing uh, his website of course where you can get the mod on your own and also any other links he wants so yeah cool we'll see you guys on the next one thanks for hanging out with us and that's it that's all